What a difference a day makes. From the depth of despair on Calvary to the resurrection. You know, many days in our lives have framed us and shaped us. December 7th, 1945, or 1941, shaped a whole generation of people and changed our country. November 23rd, 1963, did the same for my generation. It moved us and shaped us in new ways. And of course, September 11th, 2001, we've all in this room, I believe, experienced. Changed us, made us different. And yet nothing has had the impact of that day 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Raised from the dead. And gave us all new life. We gather here this morning from all kinds of different denominations different churches, different doctrines in some cases, and yet what unites us is the saving act of God in Christ from that day 2,000 years ago when the death on the cross and the darkness and the despair was given over to the power of God in resurrection and new life and life. But of course, that's not the only thing that happened back then. It's not left back then. It's not a past tense. It's a today, is it not? Because that same resurrection power lives within each one of us who claim the name of Christ, who have accepted that forgiveness and that grace of God, and who know the power of the Holy Spirit to transform us and renew us and to bring us new life. And to send us forth into the world, right here, in our corner of the world, to make a difference. Yes, the day back then made a difference. It changed the course of history in a way that none of those other dates I mentioned could <coughs> compare to. But the reality is that every single day, Paul tells us that we go out into the world and we carry that same power, the incomparable power that raised Jesus from the dead lives within us. And so I call on us today to remember that even as this light shines now, it is shining within each one of us. <coughs> and we are now the witnesses that go forth, not only with our words and with our songs, but with our lives as we live out the rule of love in our community. I invite you this morning to sing our witness as we begin to close this service now, this service of celebration, where we have heard the old story and we're refreshed in our understanding and the touch of the Spirit in us and we are ready to go forth. Let's begin with our witness and song from that old song, He Lives. We serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. And I know that because he lives in me. Will you stand and let's sing?
Uh, it is all about Jesus. We stand on ground that belongs to you. We breathe the air that belongs to you, and we, we thank you, Lord. Um, Lord, this past week, uh, we have witnessed the, the gift of hospitality that has came from this church, and we thank you, Lord, that you have given them that gift. Lord, I pray for um, the, the body of this church and, and the, the leadership of this church as they go forward as your witness. Um, I thank you, Lord, as we gather together again um, in our separate churches and our separate bodies, that you are the leader, you are the purpose, and you're the what drives us. Um, we are so humbled to know that you have chosen us to be your laborers. We are so humbled to know that you have chosen us to be your witness, to carry on your story. Um, but it's such a great story, Lord, and we, we are glad and we are grateful that we can share it. And so I ask you, Lord, um, to not only bless this place, but bless the families that belong um, within this community and this county. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Downstairs.